361 games, 374 goals, uh, 39 hat tricks, 8 trophies, 2 Ballon d'Ors, soon to be 3. You can mark that down in your calendar. It's guaranteed, and he's out of form. Cristiano Ronaldo's out of form. Bangs in a hat trick against Atletico Madrid. So, if you're not in the mood tonight, and I know it's usually the Sunday sit down, but this was Saturday night where it goes up. Who knows? You're here to join me. And if you're not in the mood for a Cristiano Ronaldo love fest, then uh, tune out. I'm sure there's some other things you could debate about, some other conversations that you could talk about that maybe doesn't include Cristiano Ronaldo. But if you're talking about world football, the sport that we all love, if Cristiano Ronaldo at this moment in time is not in your conversation, then I'm afraid to tell you this. You are not a true fan of the game. <gasps> you tell me what to think? Yes, I am. Because Cristiano Ronaldo comes under so much scrutiny. The most scrutinized footballer, I would say, we've seen in the last five to ten years. Despite the fact that he's just fucking brilliant. That's it. He's out of form. He's out of form. I'm not saying that he's always golden. Yes, he has his days where he doesn't look interested and he maybe has a little diva hissy fit now and again. His eyebrows have been plucked in time. But the guy's simply a fantastic ambassador to the world of football and he scores three goals against a team that is one of the hardest teams to even score one goal against in the world of football he scores three yes deflected free kicks out you want he doesn't score many nowadays but that one went in the penalty people out there on twitter are claiming it was never a penalty all right so the first thing i take from this is where's that half a step that he lost because he looked pretty darn quick getting in behind getting his body in front and making savage make a, a, a tackle that was really not necessary if Ronaldo had lost that step. Got in front and then he's composed enough and puts the ball in. And then his third goal, he works well with Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale uses his speed, whips the ball in behind, composed finish. But it wasn't just the goals. It was his focus throughout the game, his movement off the ball, his ability to, to, to consistently offer an option for Real Madrid. All the little things that Cristiano Ronaldo does every single day to make sure that he is in impeccable physical condition for his age adds to that. That's not a one-off hat trick. He's had another 38 to go along with that in his Real Madrid career. In such a short span of time to accomplish such brilliance, I'm tired of it. I am tired of the Ronaldo's out of form. It happened last year. Hadn't scored an away goal in how many games? And then he goes and salvages, takes Real Madrid off of life support to keep them in the Champions League, which they then go on and win. When will we learn? When will we learn that this is just a tiresome argument because we just like to try and pick apart someone who's brilliant? I swear to God, it's partly my job in somewhat of the media sphere to just... Tell people that these people who are focusing on this are imbeciles. They have nothing better to do with their day. Cristiano Ronaldo might not be at that impeccable form that we've seen last year, but is he going to be at that stage? He's getting older, but he's still adjusting his game to make sure that he's always an asset to this team. So I don't understand when you get outlets out there two weeks ago, three weeks ago, saying Cristiano Ronaldo's passed it. It's time to pass the torch over to Gareth Bale. He just scored three goals against a team that on average barely concede. The lowest team before this game conceding goals in La Liga. And let's say Ronaldo's numbers as of 2016, where you can bet your bottom dollar. If you've got any argument to anyone else winning the Ballon d'Or, you can take yourself outside and take your face for a shit. Because that's exactly where you're going. Because that is not even a, a, an argument that you could even fathom. Not at this point. 50 matches in 2016, 49 goals, 17 assists, 6 hat-tricks and 3 trophies. I'm out. But not really, I'm back. So, that's, the it's it's whatever. And it's just, I can't even bring myself to have this argument, this conversation again, other than just, yeah, this part of this video is focused primarily on Ronaldo. Uh, we need to stop comparing, thinking he's decreasing, thinking that it's just a minor blip, and then it's a blip, I, that he's just kind of, he's going back down the way, and we're not going to, this is only going to happen now and again. Cristiano Ronaldo will continue to contribute like this for into 2017 and until his Real Madrid days until he stops putting in that extra work and that's really going to be his choice because all the extra work he puts in off the field everything that he does is why he's able to still contribute like this why he's still able to bust his ass faster than anyone around him to get into the box into that position for Gareth Bale to whip the cross in so uh, no I'm done with it I'm done with it and the argument anymore Cristiano Ronaldo fantastic game 3-0 10 out of 10 Isco had a phenomenal game as well so it wasn't just Ronaldo great 30 minutes 
Um, I, I think I've seen a, the best 30 minutes I've seen of Isco. And Zinedine De Zan deserves all the credit in the world. How do I try to say that so fast? I said Zinedine De Zan. Zinedine Zidane. I think he's lost how many games since the takeover? Oh yeah, one. Against the Athletic Commentary. Frightening. Frightening how well this team are meshing together. Top of the table, looking confident, not exactly firing an all cylinders in the Champions League, but who cares? Who cares at this moment in time? Because they are destroying teams, uh, teams that are one of the hardest to destroy. Diego Simeone probably didn't realise what hit him there because it's not happened in a while. Uh, and after the last time those two faced, another Champions League uh, what if scenario for Atletico Madrid left licking their wounds and it won't be easy to take this uh, and absorb it as Real Madrid proved that at this moment they are probably the most dominant team in the world. But a minor but a brief recap to get uh, on the rest of the world's football as we speak. Um, Premier League football. Yaya Touri comes back in with a bang. It's two, two goals for Pep Guardiola's squad. Um, they're taking salvaging a win against Crystal Palace, Manchester United and Arsenal share evens. Is it the dreaded November for Arsenal? Who knows? Um, and then we've got action tomorrow still to take place uh, that I can maybe give another video to then. But most of this video, as you know, is focused around Cristiano Ronaldo. So whether you like it, whether you love it, whether you hate it, engage me in the comments. I'm willing to, to, to make a case to, to set aside a long period of my time tomorrow to argue back about why... There is no argument to Cristiano Ronaldo anymore. Uh, if you want to start this whole Messi-Ronaldo argument, it's tiresome. I'm bored of it. I don't want to have it. We're just focusing on Ronaldo right now. This is his moment. He scored three goals against Atletico Madrid, proving once again how valuable he is to this team. Hit me up on Twitter, Francis underscore Maxwell. Francis Maxwell host on Instagram. If for every Instagram follower I gain, I've told you this, Christian, uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, I wish I was friends with him. Jason Rubin. He's already doing a push-up the last day. He's doing pull-ups. Now he'll do bicep curls because we need to get those scrawny arms bulked up. So every new Instagram follower I get from 2IT Sports, that's a bicep curl for Jason. So let's go for 150 bicep curls and we'll see his little scrawny arms fall off. Peace.